Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make a very useful ESP32 project. Here I want to control a outdoor light at a particular time, but at this place there is no Wi-Fi connection. So in this project, the ESP32 will create its own access point and I just have to enter an IP to connect with that access point to update the on and off time for the relay. Afterwards, ESP32 will fetch the current time from the RTC module and control the relay as per the predefined on and off time. So it don't require any Wi-Fi connection. And here I have also used preference library so ESP32 can also remember the on and off time for the relay after the power cut. On the OLED we can monitor the current time, on time and off time for the relay and the IP for the access point. So this is a very useful project you can control any other appliances like water pump, plant watering system using this circuit. After watching the complete video anyone can make this project so without any further delay let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium which is a world class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. And now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB Designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. These are the required components for this project. Now we have to connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. In the circuit, the ESP32 will fetch the time from this RTC module. This OLED is optional, I have just used it to see the current time. And here I will control this bulb using this relay module which is connected with the D25 pin. After designing the PCB, I have decided to make the complete circuit on the zero PCB. So I printed the PCB layout on a A4 page. And here you can see I have sticked the layout on the zero PCB. Now I will place all the components as per the layout. Then I will connect all the components as per the circuit. Here you can take the help from the layout which you can easily download from the description. After soldering our PCB will be look like this. Now let me connect the ESP32 on the PCB. Then let me connect the RTC module. Then OLED. Here I have to connect the relay but before that let me connect the ESP32 with my laptop for programming. This is the source code for this project but before uploading this code first you have to configure the RTC module with the current time. For that you can use this sketch you can download both the sketch from the video description. Now first let me open this sketch to set the time in the RTC module. So here you can see this is the Wi-Fi credential and here I have mentioned the details of the NTP server as per my country. So if you go to this website, then select your country, you will get the related NTP server. I live in India, so I am clicking on India and this is my NTP server. And you also have to change this to value as per your country. In my previous video, I have explained everything in details. Please refer the previous video, link is in description. So first you have to enter the Wi-Fi credential, then you have to enter the NTP server details. Afterwards, you just have to upload this case to ESP32 board. It will just fetch the time from the NTP server and save it in the RTC module. So here you can see in the serial monitor, it is showing the current time 1045 and this is the date. Now we will move to our main sketch. So this is our main sketch. Let me open this sketch in the Arduino ID. 
for this project these are the required libraries so you have to install all these libraries and i have also mentioned the version here afterwards here you can see i have mentioned the gpio details for the relay pin which is 25 then set the parameter for the OLED in my case it is 1 to 8 and 32 then this is the HTML content as I said ESP32 will create an access point using a fixed IP you can open this HTML page to change the on and off time for the relay and here I will also save the predefined on and off time using the preference library in the EEP ROM memory of the ESP32. So after power cut, ESP32 can remember the on and off time for the relay. Then in the setup, I have defined a broad grid. And here you can see I am using a active low relay module. So here I have mentioned high to turn off the relay initially. If you are using active high relay module, then make this value low to turn off the relay initially then i am configuring the display unit oled then using this soft ap i am creating an access point and this is the ip for the access point then using the preference library we are just fetching the details from the eep rom memory then in the void loop i am calling this function to fetch the time from the rtc module so if you go to this function here you can see all the details is here and then we are calling this function to control the relay so if the time match accordingly we will control the relay we will turn it on and off and again if you are using active high relay module or if you want to control any led make this low to high and this high to low then using this display data function we are displaying the current time and on and off time for the relay on the oled and here we are displaying this url using this url you can open that html page to change the on and off time so the code is very simple if you go through it you can easily understand and here we don't need any wi-fi connection esp32 will face the time from the rtc module so you don't have to put any wi-fi details in this code so let me upload this code to esp32 so let me go to tools select the board esp32 then select esp32 dev module then select the proper port which is com6 then click on the upload to upload the code and one thing i forgot to mention the esp32 will create the access point with this name esp32 underscore ap and this will be the password so if you want you can change it i am keeping as it is now the code uploaded successfully after programming you can see the current time on the oled 1454 which is 254 and this is the by default on and off time for the relay and this is the ip address for the access point of the esp32 so first let me turn on the wi-fi first i will connect the access point created by the esp32 then i will search for the esp32 underscore ap then enter the password so here you can see this is the password now after connecting with the esp32 access point I have to open the browser and here I have to search for the IP address here you can see the IP address on the OLED I have to enter it so this is the IP address so here you can see it is asking me to set on and off time currently the time is 14.55 let me set the on time for the relay 14.57 and off time 14.58 now I will click on set time here it is showing time set successfully and on the OLED I should see the updated on and off time so now it is showing on time 14.57 and 14.58 is the off time now the relay should automatically turn on at 14.57 currently it is 14.56 you can see the current time on the top we have to wait for another five seconds here you can see the green light on the relay so the relay is on right now and it will remain on for one minute as per our predefined time the relay will automatically turn off at 14:58. so let me fast forward the video you can see the relay automatically turn off and the time is 1458 
so you don't need any wi-fi connection the esp32 will fetch the time from this rtc module and it will also display it on the oled and of course you can give direct ac supply at this point or you can also give direct 5 volt dc supply here currently the esp32 is connected with my laptop so it is getting power supply from my laptop and you can connect any ac load across the common and no terminal of the relay if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day